Hi, Ted Harrison here at Puppets. I guess you heard right now that Jerry Nelson passed away a while back. This is quite amazing, great actor and a great, great puppeteer. This is one of the forefathers of the Muppets, one of the great granddaddies. Worked with Jim Henson and Frank Oz. Ever Jerry Jolie was also a great writer. Basically, he was known for playing the Cal, Uncle Matt, Floyd Pepper, Rob the Frog. Give it as gonzo whatever necessary. Doc. Uh, also played the London Hog on uh, uh, Sesame Street skit. Alfonso on uh, Ghost of Factor Hall. Uncle Charlie Matt on Fraggle Rock. I also played Papa Gorg. Also give as a British hack whatever necessary. And they always give him the Vulcan's coffee commercials. And. Well, we know him as Robin the Frog. Uh, uh, Robin the Frog. Um, so, to start with this, I'd like to sing some of my favorite songs with my puppets. Halfway down the stairs is the stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not at the bottom, I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Halfway down the stairs, is it up, is it down? It isn't in the nursery, it isn't in the town. And all kinds of funny things go through my head. And this is a stair where I always led. Halfway down the stairs is the stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not at the bottom, I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Okay, we have other Ben Garland's and sorry. My Ben Garland and sorry guys sing a great song. Every day the sunlight shows me more. Hi, welcome to the Hashman's Fun Club. And now, I will speed wall for no reason. Now we'll dance like an idiot. Now we'll, we'll ship me a cheek if I do the whole lot. <laughs> but you never know who's going to show up at Harris Puppets. They can keep girl for example. Now, this is actually my geeky friend, and she's going to show you some things about magnetism. Now, she's actually attacked for trying to cuffs with wires at the end of our wrist. Now, we'll stick one foot in a bucket of vinegar. I'll uh, stick one foot in a bucket of ghost milk. Now, she's turning on the generator. Now, I'm going to touch my tongue to this crystal rod. Ha ha, it's cool. Ha ha. Um, we think. Neat, huh? Hi, in today's puppet skit, we're going to be acting out a story. 
fact, we're going to be acting out a story. It's called, our first story is called The King's Nose. King Marvel was very magnificent indeed. All of one was great indeed. Everyone was great and blessed. Everyone was great and blessed. Then there was a boy named Paul who had a red rubber ball. Every day until it was late, Paul threw the ball down late. One day Paul said, I'll throw my ball as hard as the pipes can go. The ball landed on Marvin's nose and it got stuck. What's going on? And who should show up with the Prime Minister? A rubber ball, I'll pass, I'll kill it. It's amazing. I'll get one for my snoot. And the Prime Minister had one for his nose. So the butcher, the baker, the writer, the boss, it's good enough for Marvin, it's good enough for us. Was. Oh, whoa, said Paul. I'm really upset. I'll go to the king. Hope he won't be mad. Paul was told to enter and told to rise, and something wonderful caught his eyes. King Marvel was dressed in a purple cloak, so separate on the toes, all the crown was on his head, a ball was on his dog. Ha 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 ha! What's so funny? I beg to differ. My ball is on your sipper. I do? We see it very quick. King looked in the mirror and he said, Ick! I say that rubber balls and nose are worse. So he took the ball off the nose and, Here you go, kid. So the butcher, the baker, the driver of the bus, It's good enough for King Marvin, it's good enough for us. To ever deal with Nicholas Lee, King Paul has a thousand balls through his house gate. This lesson you know is true. If a king does something silly, you don't have to do it too. And that's our story. The king's nose. Once upon a time, in a nursery rhyme, once upon a time, in a nursery rhyme, since my story little red and I, it seems all the time, I don't know I know I play her, I know I stand and I know I play Little well, Red, if you're bored, you should go uh, literally speak to your grandma. Or I'll do that. Uh, little Red got bored, her mother she adored. Stopped along the way for some games to play. This is my story, Big Bad Wolf and I. They see me coming and they always cry. <laughs> no one said, Ah! Uh, wolf! Don't worry, I say. Where are you going, little red and I? I don't know. I take some goodies to my mom so she's sick in bed. Uh, no one said. Uh, um, little red, little hay, or some games to play. Game. <laughs> this is my story, Grandma, Mom, and I. I see you coming in the hall. As girls as well have fun. Granny went away. Wolf came in to play. Put on granny clothes, stuck her glasses on her nose. Little wretch, you couldn't see the skies. You know, in all the eyes, uh, all the eyes. Uh, Grandma, what big eyes you have? Bird see with my dear. Grandma, what big nose you have? Bird smell you have. Grandma, what big mouth you have? Bird to eat those goodies with. Yum. Once upon a time, in a nursery rhyme, once upon a time, now we're out of time. That was our production of Little Red Riding Hood, uh, sort of. Okay, Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl who was so beautiful. Er, er, her father would have loved her very much. There was one problem. He married this very evil woman. Pretty soon the girl's father died. It was just terrible. Oh. Because the father didn't leave a will, well, the stepmother got everything. The house, 
house, house, the parents' lands, much her dismay, the girl, and the girl had had to do chores for her every day for the wicked stepmother, and her two equally weaponed separate sisters. Send her off, clean the house, scrub the floor, mop the floors, and give um, Pop, Claudette and Drusel their bath. You don't believe this. I have rights. You need this. You want to take this up with the king? We worth it. Soon they're carrying the decree. The prince was looking. The prince was looking for a princess. Now Henry, you have to find yourself a princess. I know, I know. And the thing. When the the, the prince is off for a walk. We're like our princess. Oh no, you don't. Forgive me, your highness, I didn't see. Your aim is good. I know I need to die for this. Let's speak nothing of this. That prince, you have to find a princess. Let's find a prince. There's a ball. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Turn it with a big royal ball. Oh. Uh. The, the stepmother of the stepsisters went. They did not take a Cinderella. Oh. Oh. But I wanted to go to the ball. It's just not fair. You have to take care of the house. Clean this house up. Tidy it. I wanted to go to the ball. Mm. Who should show up our fairy godmother? I'm your fairy godmother. What will I do? And you too will go to the ball. Go get a pumpkin and clean it out. So Cinderella did. Then shred the horse or the mice the horses. Says, says uh, her horse into a coachman and Bruno the dog into a footman. And she gave Cinderella a beautiful dress. This is like a beautiful dream, a wonderful dream come true. Yes, but eventually all dreams come to an end. At exactly 12 midnight, the cell will end and everything will turn back to normal. But hurry now, ball will wait. Have a good time, yes, be gay. But off you go, you're on your way. And so, so, and so, Roll was on her way. Now, Prince, now, Prince Henry, you have to find a princess. It's all important. I know, I know. Mm, not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. Ugh, not you. For you, I'm a uh, Cinderella. I mean, Princess Ella. Care to dance? And the dance the night away. Prin Cinderella almost forgot about the time. And bong, 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 bong. I'm late for what? Reality. Where will I find my princess? So, whoever will, whoever will, will find the shoe. Uh, war of the princess. The prince tried tried to show Claudette. It didn't fit. The prince tried to show Drusilla. It didn't fit. Who is sure her? She is only the maid. And so the prince tried to show Cinderella. Darling, I found you. It's amazing. Now I found my princess. We will be married. Yes, we will. Don't you know how the story ends? I know how the story ends. We never get the prince! Mwah! The end. Okay, now I'm going to show you, now in this web video, I'm going to show you why I can do it with some warm all the I take the warm all the seeds, look at my hair, and I go this. That's our show for today. Bye!